Weirdos are still upset with uh, Gina Carano. I haven't talked to Gina. And uh, it's just, it's spectacular. And you guys that even haven't talked with her, you can pick this up as well if you're not retarded. And that is that, I don't know of any public figure that I've seen where the perception of a big pocket of, let's say, of of, of the I don't want to say the world, but you get it that are that know who she is, couldn't have an opinion like they talk about her like she's fucking. You think that she was just this egregious, obnoxious, offensive person. And she couldn't be anything further from that. Like she's just, nobody says anything bad, like that knows her, has said anything bad about her, anything. It just goes to show how one position, which is political in this case, has people that are brainless, like people that literally are have peanut brains, man. How they view the world and how they will view you in the event that you have that position. So what we're looking at is this pop culture classroom shit. Now, I don't know who the fuck this, this is, but they are a charity that's going to be at this fan expo in Denver. Or they're the future charity of fan expo Denver. Now, this fan expo, Gina Carano was announced that she was going to be there. Awesome. These weirdos felt like they needed to, because remember, this this is what it is. This is, this is the left in action. They feel like they have to, even though nobody asked them for their goddamn opinion, they feel like they got to put it out there. And where this is a fucking charity having this position. Pop culture classroom. This is their statement on Gina Carano's scheduled appearance at Fan Expo. Pop culture classroom is committed to creating welcoming and inclusive spaces through our educational programs at Fan Expo. And what they wanted to say is that they were not consulted, which why would they? You're just a charity wing on the booking of Gina Carano and that they wanted to let you guys know that they oppose her involvement in the fan expo event. Now, obviously that's not very inclusive at all, but as we've mentioned many times before, these words don't mean shit. These terms that they like to use is really, they only like different shades, colors, and sexualities of the same shit. Okay. Um, that's it. And now if you are not fitting within that box that they have made, that mold that they have predetermined for you, then you are an enemy. So they're not inclusive at all. <laughs> it's precisely the opposite. But they wanted to make sure that everybody knew that. And they're saying that, well, we weren't consulted and we, of course, oppose her being there. And this is like what they also said. Carano's past statements and actions are at direct odds with our organization's mission to celebrate diversity and build inclusive pop culture spaces where all feel welcome. Again, imagine how much hypocrisy that is, right? We're not talking about someone that has done so something so fucking terrible. We're talking about a person that had a difference in opinion politically, and you are wanting to not include them in your affairs, which, again, I'm all for that. You don't you're not required to accept anybody, but don't go around talking about you all inclusive and shit. Just stop that with diversity. No, you want people that are in alignment with you and that's it. Notice they don't mention what's happened, right? I'm guessing and I can only do that is they are alluding to the fact that I don't know, she went out there and. She made an Instagram post in which she the, shared basically a meme that was talking about how, you know, this stuff doesn't happen overnight. And the reason some of these just like egregious things that happen historically have happened is because the state has effectively turned the citizens against each other. 
Now, she was right. And since then, you've seen her be vindicated in that aspect many times. It wasn't even a. This is what it was. It was a mild statement. It wasn't even anything that was a spicy take at all. But because they think that the left, that is, they're the only people that could compare and contrast. Eras. Right. They can call and they have called half of the voting population fucking Nazis. Not only has that happened, Pedro Pascal, who also works for Lucasfilm, literally did the same exact thing. That's literally what he did. Not the same exact thing because she didn't do that. He actually did that. But it's okay for them to refer, of course, to the social justice left to refer to that era. But you can't dare do that. Right. That's just off limits. The Germans, 30s, 40s, it's off limits. You can't do that. But they can. And they will still not only remain employed. I'm willing to bet that they have absolutely no problem that they have called this pop. What is this? Pop culture classroom has zero issues with Pedro Pascal appearing at Expos. I'm willing to bet money, even though he did. He said something fucking far worse compared to the same era, though. The things they was griping about, but said something far worse, remain employed by Lucasfilm. And he's not seen as the bad guy just simply because he had the right politics. That's it. It's literally the only difference is that he had the right and has the right politics. We've expressed our opposition to the team at Fan Expo Denver. They really are going out of their way to let you know that they don't condone this. They don't support this. And they have voiced their concerns with the Expo. And Carano, uh, uh, to the team uh, at Fan Expo Denver, and Carano will not be participating in any pop culture. Who, who gives a fuck? They're, they're not, who cares? They're me, oh, they won't be participating in our shit. Like, why are you telling us that? This is a virtue signal, though. So they wanted to make it clear that she won't be participating in their little events that they'll have at the event. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody asks you. Again, just the way that they talk about this situation with Gina, you would think that she was just someone that just said something just so fucking foul and she didn't but they treat her like she did it's again having someone uh, having spoke with her of course we have folks that are friends with her that are you know tied to us and us to corner the internet like drunk 3po you know i've had nick cersei on who's friends with her of course and is starring also in the movie that will be coming out with her and we've had him on the show we've talked about her it's like She's like this very kind, even killed person. And they talk. To, it's almost like they talk about her like she's me or something. I say fucked up shit and I knowingly say fucked up shit. Not like purposefully try to like I like get off on pissing people off. It's like, nah, <laughs> but y'all talk about her like she's fucking. I don't know. One of these fucking. Just weird, egregious some people that say just egregious or very controversial things. And she's mild as it gets and as tamed as it gets. The difference is simply the politics. And this is why I had said the difference between like the funding of these different groups and industries or parts of the entertainment industry. The way they treat people that are among their ranks, whether it be in Hollywood or whatever, that don't think like them politically is insane they will ostracize you to do everything they can to get you to fuck up out of there that's what they do to you and there's no sense of reciprocity in the funding aspect you think they lining up to these leftists are lining up to try to fund uh this daily wild movie no of course not They'll never do that they're gonna do everything they can and what's in their individual capacity to try to de- delegitimize that movie but on the other hand, they control these brands. Well, you see conservatives or people that call themselves that ain't got no problem fucking reaching in their pockets going to fund the fucking enemy 
in entertainment, not fucking again. I always have to preface this because you get the person that yells squirrel, right? They don't like that you point out their addiction. They don't like the fact that, that you point out that they fund their destruction. So what they'll do is try to, well, you also like this, this, and that's like, dog, they don't change shit. We're talking about some like entertainment shit anyway. We ain't talking about food and housing and shit. We're talking about stuff that you can easily replace. Y'all fund them. They don't fund you. And when you are among their ranks, you end up like Gina Carano. If you think differently from them. You just listened to a clip from my podcast for Ken and sake, which is live throughout the week at 12 PM central on youtube.com slash young ripper five nine and odyssey.com slash at young ripper five nine. Be sure to check out my website, eric So you can stay up to date with everything it is that I'm doing. You can also become a member and get access to a bunch of cool perks and exclusive content, which includes a social media hub where you can interact with myself and other members. It even has an app that you can get, which is now live in the Google and Apple stores.